So, what's this? There's a little tiny mark there. So yeah, this um, head gasket looks to be good still. Normally you would see if the head gasket was blown, first of all, there'd be coolant in the passengers. There's a bit of oil in this one, but that's just probably because of the fire um, and me opening up the, the spark plug. Um, Normally, if there was any head gasket issues, you'd see it between the coolant passages and the cylinder walls. There'd be some burn marks. I don't know what's going on here. But let's take this off. See what it looks like on the other side. What's that stuff? Like some glue. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. I think at some point, because there's only a tiny little bit of this stuff, this is uh, when coolant and oil mix together. Yeah, coolant and oil mix together, and you get that little, um, you get that milkshake stuff. Um, so what I think happened is the oil cooler gasket between the, the oil filter and the cooler leaked and maybe some oil got into the system um, in a prior life. That's what I think happened because I don't see anything else that jumps out at me. If you guys do, put it in the comments, put a timestamp so I can look at it. Yeah, this isn't branded either, it just says B25. So you guys tell me there's a rubber outsert with this blue stuff and then the coolant passages are in black. Where's my head gasket? I'm going to put this aside, clean it up and put it aside so that I can compare mine. Put that one in the bin. Let's look at the head. Wow, it looks, I mean, it looks clean to me. Let me get the... Yeah, look down there. We're gonna have to clean that out. A little bit of milkshake in here, but not too bad. We'll clean that out when we drop the oil pan. I mean, head looks to be in good condition. Now, the next part that I'm interested in is these cylinder walls. What do you guys think? This one's dirty. I mean, it looks good to me. That's just oil. Good stuff. Let's look at one and six.
Oh, what's this? Do you guys see this? There's a little tiny mark there. It's a line. But when you put your nail on it, you can't feel it. It's okay, we're gonna hone that out a little bit. And number one. Looks good. Normally number one's pretty good because it's closest to the oil cooler. Sorry. It's closest to the water pump so it gets cooler quicker. So I just flipped this over to um, get the water out. There was actually not much in there. So I'll try and clean out those passages later. So I forgot to mention when you're taking the head off, you need to be very careful. You should put it on a raised platform uh, because, because, as you can see right there, I don't know if I can get at that. There are two valves poking out on cylinder two on the, I think that's the exhaust side. And if you put that on the block flat, you're going to push the valves in and damage something. So you don't want to do that. So everything else looks good. Um, I'm just going to flip this over so that we can take a look at the head and see the condition. Ooh. Um, lots of carbon. I got my work cut out for me. Looks like it was burning a lot of. Hmm. Looks like it was burn running rich from the plugs. This is cylinder one. Just was running rich, or maybe burning a bit of oil. That buildup also tells me it was burning a bit of oil, maybe. But at least they're all uniform. They're all pretty much the same except for this one, which is a bit wet. Number four and number five are a bit wet. And number six, for some reason, is the cleanest. So I'm going to have to check the valve stem seals on these guys. Head looks good though. Yeah, this stuff is coming off, flaking off. Oh no. Take a look at that. That is no bueno. So we got it cracked exhaust valve on cylinder six.
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this information was useful to you. We kind of found out that our head is uh, needs some work. I'm gonna order a new valve and see if we can get in that quickly so that we can finish our rebuild uh, without waiting too long. So in the next video, we're gonna take apart the bottom end of the engine. We're gonna look at the bearings and measure clearances. We're gonna look at the crankshaft and see what else we need to rebuild the bottom end. So hope to see you guys in the next video.